standard 7th subject maths today we are going to learn chapter number 8 algebraic expressions and operations on them practice set 32 let's learn about algebraic expressions 3n plus 1 3t 2x plus 3y 2 bracket l plus b are algebraic expressions here you can see the alphabets n t y l b x are the variables in these expressions so what are the numbers called in let's have a look let's learn in the expression 3x 3 is the coefficient of the variable x so the number is called the coefficient and the alphabet is called the variable in the expression minus 15t minus 15 is the coefficient of the variable t an expression in which multiplication is the only operation is called a term now if you see 3x 3 is multiplied by x so it is called a term minus 15t minus 15 into t an algebraic expression may have one term or maybe the sum of several terms so now that you know what is a term let's have a look at some examples 11 mn here the coefficient is 11 and variables are m and n next minus 9x square y cube coefficient is minus 9 and variables are x comma y term 5 upon 6 p 5 upon 6 is a coefficient and p is the variable okay while writing the variables the power has not been mentioned in the table so the, uh, 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 how to operate the powers we'll learn later term is given a so a means a is multiplied by 1 so we can say that coefficient is 1 and variable is a so this way you should be familiar with what is term coefficient and variable remember the algebraic expression 15 minus x has two terms the first term 15 is a number so only a number also can be counted as a term the second term is minus x x is a variable so here the coefficient of the variable x is minus 1 you can say that minus 1 into x is minus x terms which have the same variables with the same powers are called like terms so what are like terms let's have look at some examples the first one 2x 5x minus 2 upon 3x all the variables are the same that is x so these terms in the expression 1 are called like terms second example minus 5x square y 6 upon 7 y x square now y is raised to the power of 1 and x is raised to the power of 2 the powers are also same then we can say that these are like terms now let's have look at unlike terms first example 7xy 9y square and minus 2xyz you will see that the variables are different so they are called unlike terms second example for unlike terms 8mn 8m square n square 8m cube n you will see in all the terms for second example mn is the variable but the powers are not same so they come in the category of unlike terms so for terms to be considered as like terms their powers also should match so now types of algebraic expressions expressions are named after the number of terms they have expression with one term are called monomials those with two terms binomials with three terms trinomials and if they have more than three terms they are called 
polynomials. Okay. So let's have some look. Uh, let's have a look at some examples of monomials. Four x. You will see only one term. Five upon six m minus seven. These are all monomials. Binomials. You will see there are two terms like two x minus three y, two l plus two b, three m n minus five m square n. So you will see two terms are there and there is a operation sign in between them. Trinomials. You will see three terms a plus b plus c, x square minus five x plus six, eight a cube minus five a square b plus c. So three terms means trinomials. And more than three, see the last one, polynomials. Polynomials means you have more than either four or more than four. So a cube minus three a square b plus three ab minus b cube. There are four terms, so it is polynomial. Second, four x raised to the power of four minus seven x square plus nine minus five x cube minus sixteen x. You will see there are five terms in this expression, so it comes under the category of polynomials. And the last one, five x raised to the power of five minus one upon two x plus eight x cube minus five. Four terms again, so it is polynomial. So based on this, we are going to solve our practice set number thirty-two. Classify the following algebraic expressions as monomials, binomials. Trinomials or polynomials. So you have altogether eight questions. Let's have a look at the questions. First one, seven x. It is a yes monomial because only one term. Second, five y minus seven z. It is a binomial, two terms. Third one. Three x cube minus five x square minus eleven. How many terms can you see in this expression? Three terms. So it is called a trinomial. So let's have a look at the fourth one. One minus eighty minus seven a square minus seven a cube. How many terms can you see? Four terms. So it will be a polynomial. Let's have a look. First one is a monomial. Second binomial. Third trinomial and fourth polynomial. So let's solve the remaining questions. Fifth one, five m minus three. You can see two terms, so it is obviously a binomial. Sixth, you see only a, so a is a single term. It is though it is multiplied by one, we don't write one a, only a. So it is a monomial. Four. Four also is a single number, so it's a monomial, just one term. And eighth one, three y square minus seven y plus five. You can see three terms here, so it is a trinomial. So basically, practice set thirty-two was to identify how many terms are there in the given expression and accordingly categorize them as monomial, binomial, trinomial, or polynomial. So hope you have understood this practice set thirty two. Do solve the sums in your books. Stay safe, keep learning, and thank you.